Hey, I'm Jonathan Miller with J Squared Staging and Sherry Aldridge and I are here today with Lee Newport of Stage by Design. We are going to actually do the same one look, two challenge that we worked on with Sherry's girls a couple weeks ago. Get ready for some fun. We're going to do this again. This is a totally different experience because Lee's warehouse is much different than mine. They actually have to use forklifts here, so it's going to be a little bit different, but it's still going to be awesome. So you guys have 15 minutes to pull your looks together. You can use carts, you can you know, use whatever you want, get creative, have fun, um, bring your stuff up to the front and whoever is ready first can start putting their look together. Hi, my name is Cheryl Cravelli and I am a part-time stager here at Stage by Design. I like to get the art and then I could work around it with my little vignettes and play with the furniture, the color of the furniture the type of frame that the art is in. I'm trying to figure out where Lampshade 105 is. 105, where are you? Okay, okay. My name's Elizabeth Mosley and I am a lead stager with Stage by Design. Oh gosh, there he is. I just feel like we add a certain element of style and fullness that makes me feel comfortable, and that's how I train my staff. It's, I rarely actually get in there and stage anymore. I rarely see the houses. So they are leading the projects, they are implementing them, we have conversations, we have dialogue about what's gonna take place, but they implement it. So they have a good idea of the expectation. You can't just throw someone into staging because it's not the same as decorating your home. There are certain tricks to the trade that you have to learn, that you actually have to put out there and see in order for things to photograph correctly. I like an animal in all my rooms, so, and I like mixed metals. Um, we've covered these in wallpaper, which is Oh, that's kinda... really cool. I, never, yeah. I didn't realize that. That's cool. So, I chose these chunky lamps. I love them. The pictures, they're just soft, but they give a little subtle color. And I just pulled the pillows from the colors in the pictures. I like um, the magnifying glasses on books and I try to pull the same colors in the oh, picture. Yeah. No, I like it. It's soft and it's sharp yeah. too, so yeah. little this and little that. This is exactly the type of look we have. So it's not overdone, but it provides the emphasis. I love this pillow here. These are some of my favorite pillows anyway, but I love that it pulls the blue-green out of the art. So that's my favorite. Um, I mean, it's exactly what we would do in a staging and that's why she works for us. Cheryl, tell us a little bit about what you did here, the colors you used and why you chose the things that you chose. So basically I start off with picking the art. I just, I love getting the color and then I could play with the sofa and the pillows and then the rest of my accessories. Um, so I chose the art, I like the blues and the browns. It's got a mix of greens and grays, um, creams to go with the sofa. Um, and so then I just went from there with greens. The horse is always good to add to accessorize books, picture frames, lights. Um, the lights, as you can see, they've got the gray, a little bit of the brown in them, um, and then just go from there. I love the mix you used because you've got modern, you've got some rustic modern in here, you've got clean lines, definitely a transitional look, mm -hmm. but it looks amazing. Everything flows together down to the horse being posed where it's nice in the grassy field. It makes you feel relaxed and it ties in with the artwork. I mean, if I came in a house, I would love to see this room. So you did a great job. The fact that she used a book that had almost a royal blue, powder blue color, that's highlighted in the art. And that's not necessarily color we would accent with, but it's present. So to acknowledge it and incorporate it into the design is brilliant. It's one of those subtle things that we do that I think completes it and it shows the elements of a thoughtful design. 